What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue the work on the uh, kayak and we're going to get it all cleaned up and ready to go. I'm going to clean it all out. We're going to wash it down and clean it. Make sure that there's no leaks in it and stuff like that. So uh, I guess for right now I'm going to go ahead set the uh, camera up on a uh, time lapse and we'll go ahead and get it started. Okay guys, we got it all vacuumed out. Now I'm going to get me a bucket with some soap and some water and a scrubber. And we'll come over here, we'll scrub it, and we'll try and clean it up a little bit more. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is try to remove some of these bungees off of here. They're pretty pretty much gone. Um, they're so rotted and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get those off as well. So uh, give me a minute, we'll be right back. Okay guys, this is just after one wash. Look at the difference in this thing, how big of a huge difference this made. Look at this. You remember how dirty and stained up it was? Look at that. All that staining is just about gone. I'm going to, have to go over it probably one more time. And then the other side was just as bad. And uh, it's actually looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this one more time with the scrub on this side. And then we'll flip it over and get ready to do the other side. So. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and back to time lapse and uh, get started. guys this is the uh, top after one wash so it looks really nice and clean on this side right here all the way down I'm gonna take you to the other side show you the difference all right so I don't know if you can really see right here all this this black dirt right here. Okay, so you see all this this black dirt here. And the other side don't have it. It's all nice and clean. So this side here, as you can see, right up here on the lip of it here, you can see all that black dirt. Just 
just wanted to give you all kind of a before and after. So this side here is kind of the before. And then if you look over here, the seat right there, you can see how nasty and dirty that is. And then how dirty it is over here. And then how clean this side is. That's kind of your before and after. So this is your, this side is your after. And then this side here is the before. And right here you can see all the dirt that's on this thing right here. How nasty it is still. I don't know if y'all can actually really see all that, but it's down here kind of close. All right, so there you can probably see how nasty and dirty that is right there. And it just continues all the way down the side of the kayak here. How nasty and dirty all that is. And you can see... Um, right up here on the lid all this nastiness right here and then if you look on the other side it's totally clean so I still gotta do the inside of the bucket here and then I gotta do this side here so let me get to it Okay guys, I'm going to take you off the tripod and uh, show you the results. So this is after two washes. So we got uh, a broken strap here we're going to have to replace. And then all these bungees up here on top are going to have to be replaced. They're, they're shot. And then Everything is pretty clean, except for the dirt that I just got on it, but. Now I'm still going to have to find something to scrub these lids with, because they're just plumb nasty. But, you can probably see the results. Maybe, I don't know. See how dirty it is down in there still. Now I did wash the seat. You remember how nasty it was? It was super, super nasty. And uh, so I flip the seat back over. Now then we got this whole side nice and clean now. Like I said, I don't know if y'all can see that on the video of how nasty that lid is right there. But anyway, we're going to end up scrubbing those with some kind of scrubber of some kind. Um, this drain plug here was busted. I've got it pulled out. Um, and then the other drain plug was completely missing up front up there, so we're going to replace it as well. Um, I've got them on order, so they should be here this week sometime. Um, 
Now this inside, you probably ain't gonna be able to see, but it's pretty clean for the most part. Maybe, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's still pretty nasty down in there. This seat has seen better days. I want to figure something out on that, try and fix that some way. So, oh, I've got it set up, but uh, anyway, you remember how nasty these holes were? I've got them all cleaned out now. Um, one is a cup holder, and then the other two, I think, are attachment points for something else. But you can really see the dirt back up in there the light shining on it but yeah guys I think that's about as clean as it's gonna get um, unless I try some kind of like bleach remover or if I can get it to maybe a uh, car wash or something maybe see if I can clean out the inside of it or something but anyway um, so I uh, am going to look at some bungee cords this week. Uh, I've seen some online that I can purchase. So they've got a solid black like this one here. They've got a solid yellow, almost the color yellow of this kayak. They've got an orange, they've got blue, they've got green, teal, um, they've got a black and yellow. Uh, black and orange, black and green, um, but I think what I'm going to do is either go straight black again or maybe a black and yellow. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get some pictures for you guys. I'll post them down in my, uh, my uh, community tab and uh, I'll have you guys vote on them. So uh, I'll do that this week and get that uploaded for you. So, be watching the community tab, because I'm going to be posting some pictures there, and uh, especially like on the bungee cord stuff, so I'll get your guys' reaction to that, but I think this thing really cleaned up really well, got all the sap and nastiness off the outside of it, the only problem is, is getting this inside is going to be extremely, extremely difficult. Um, I'm not used to a set inside. My kayak is over here on the side of the house. So, my kayak over here is a set on top. And I'm not used to a uh, set inside. So, this one here is a set inside, which I'm not used to. So, I mean, as you can see, there's the, the, foot, the foot pedals down inside and everything. So, I'm not, not sure how I'm going to get that inside clean. I mean, it's still pretty dirty. But, it's, it's livable. Like, you know, um, like I could probably stand to be okay with it. Um, the outside, however, is nice and clean again. Maybe uh, you guys can give me some suggestions on how to clean the inside of this. Uh, if y'all have any ideas, uh, put the ideas down in the comments on how to clean it on the inside because I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Um, it'd be nice to get that inside all cleaned out because it's pretty nasty. I got another leaf in here. They keep falling from up in here in the in the ledges up in here. I keep getting a bunch of leaves fall out of it. So, but yeah, there you go, guys. That is part two kayak cleanup of the trash kayak. Part two. Trash kayak cleanup.
There you go. That's what she looks like, guys. So what I'm going to do is uh, probably let it dry out now that I've cleaned it all. Like I said, uh, put some comments down below in the uh, comments. Let me know uh, if y'all have any suggestions or ways to clean out the inside of this thing. I'd appreciate it. So let me uh, put the camera back on the tripod. Okay, guys. Kayak's all cleaned up, looking good, at least on the outside. So that's about all I got for you for today. Until next time, I'm Red Fox of Red Fox Outdoors. Get out and enjoy nature. Bye, guys. Thank you.